age statements. Are they everything? Not necessarily. But when they go away, it sure does make you wonder, why? Exactly. It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And we are talking about age statements. And what sort of uh, sparked this was the return of an age statement to Jim Beam Black. Mm -hmm. We sort of have the evolution here. It used to be the double uh, age. Double age. Which eight is, year. Yeah. Then it went away and was just known as extra age. Which, what does that mean? Eh, just a no little, one knows. A little bit more than Jim Beam White level. Than four? Yeah. And then the seven year has, as of this year, 2024, returned with a seven year. Age statement, age statement, so not quite double age, but. While age isn't everything, it does kind of help most consumers make a decision, you know, based on the oak profile you like. It's another piece of that puzzle, right? Right, but yeah. the most important thing is obviously gonna be taste. So removing an age statement isn't the end all be all. It's not gonna ruin a product, but it does make us scratch our heads sometimes. We wonder why, why does it happen, Chad? Normally it's because of a supply issue. You're mm. wanting to stretch the barrels further because of demand and not having that rigid age statement there to uh, do so is good if you just kind of mm. get rid of that and then you can kind of do what you want. Yeah, so hopefully we're maybe seeing a trend of age statements returning like the seven year returning here with uh, this one. Will the ones we have in our list also eventually be returning? We don't know. Do you even know that some of these on our list used to be age stated? I bet you didn't. Hmm, maybe, yeah, maybe some, maybe some not. But let's get right into it with number one. Wild Turkey 101. It used to be eight year age stated. Now, some of you outside of the US may be saying, what are you talking about? It's still eight year age stated. And that's because that eight year only disappeared in the United States around 1992. I have a problem with that, Chad. I am offended. I also am a little offended that right after they dropped the age statement for a little while there on the bottle, it had old number eight yeah. on the label, which I think is a little confusing and tricky right. uh, for your average consumer. Yeah, right there where that eight year, eight years old used to be. I don't know how I well. feel about that. Now we do have an old empty, uh, this will eventually become a candle. I had to go find it in our candle <laughs> stack. Mm -hmm. It says eight years. Uh, I think this would be an import for us mm -hmm. because it says 101 US proof. Right, and it has the ABV in a bigger yeah. font. Although it is a liter, but I, I do think, I don't think this was pre-1992 here in so. the US. So yeah, I think this came over from overseas where they still have the eight year. They've got that 12 year over there. They do have there. their 12 year. It's not yeah. fair. I'm like, <laughs> it's, well, it's made right I down mean, the road. Why can't I get it? I know. We we get some exclusives here in, in the US as well. So it's not a, you World's know. World's tiniest violin. Yeah, it's not a boo-hoo-hoo. Well, but it is. I want it here. I want it here well, too. Okay. Plus, can we just agree how much more beautiful? Personally, I prefer the old label and I hope that one day they make their way back to this style as vintage is now like super in. Now they do say, you know, Wild Turkey 101, non H stated, but they say, you know, it's gonna have some seven, some eight, some nine, you know, whatever it, it is, there is no H statement on there. You have to like either talk to someone at the distillery or dig into some articles or maybe mm -hmm. find a, uh, an old press release. I tried to do that. I, I couldn't really find nowadays in 2024 what they're claiming. A little vague. Goes huh? uh, into there, but you know, I'm sure it's, there might be some eight year in here. There probably is some eight year in there. Maybe. But we uh, don't know that. We don't know. But yeah, that's where we're starting off with Wild Turkey 101 used to be eight. Speaking of things that used to carry an eight year age statement, did you know that Basil Hayden used to be eight year age dated? I did. Yeah, back in 2014, it was changed from the eight year age statement to artfully aged. Artfully aged, yeah. It was the first domino in Jim Beam's small batch series to mm -hmm. first domino to kind of fall, followed by Knob Creek in 2016. You remember when the nine year age statement left Knob Creek? Was not too happy no. about that. Now, thankfully, it's back as of 2020. Yeah, 2020, it did come back. Booker's has always stayed six, six, six to, to eight. eight. Depends on the release. Yeah, and then your your uh, Baker's has changed. Just the bottle. Just the bottle. It's gone from the small batch to a single barrel. Mm -hmm. Still has that seven year. But if you pay attention to the neck tag, yeah. you'll sometimes find as a single barrel that it can be older than seven years. So seven is the yeah. youngest that it will be. This particular one is eight years and six months old. Now, if you want to find an age state of Basil Hayden nowadays, you mm -hmm. can find the 10 year is a product that they release regularly now. Now, in one of our old Knob Creeks, I found this uh, hang tag, which is the small batch bourbon collection. Oof. Uh, it ain't pretty, that one didn't <laughs> age well. But the Mighty Four, Booker's, Basil Hayden, Baker's, and Knob Creek. And in here, when it talks about Basil Hayden's, it actually has the eight year age statement on there. It's a little piece of uh, history. history. I don't think we've ever 
taste it. Well, that's not true. We we did. We've at, had an at, old at an event mm -hmm. that yeah, we did have an age stated one, but just just that one time. This one doesn't hurt my feelings too bad uh, because there is the. I'm not a huge Basil Hayden drinker on its own, anyways. Right. But if I did want one, there is the 10 year out there now, and then all the other items in the small batch collection do have age statements on them. So I don't think it's that big of a deal personally. No, not too big of a deal. What do you guys think? Tell us in the comments. Yeah. All right, before we continue on, because next uh, we're going into Buffalo Trace land, we're going to take a little pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the hat, the, the hat and t-shirt that I'm wearing, the Glen Karens uh, holding the Jim Beam uh, Black 7-year, actually, is what we have in here there. And also, uh, right now, is our new, uh, well, not ours. It's Glen Karens, but we sell it. It's their tasting pack that is a great gift. I know Father's Day, uh, if you're watching this on the day this came out, is tomorrow. But but you might also just want this for yourself. It's for two more days until the 16th. It is on sale for $10 off. Plus, Sarah, we've got 10% off all other non-sale mm -hmm. items and free shipping over $75. That is all at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. They get alerted to new merch first, like this tasting kit right here. Um, they also get exclusive access to after the episode content with us, uh, events, barrel picks, and more. All right, we're gonna take a little break and we'll be right back. Weller Special Reserve and Old Weller Antique. And the age statements, I think were actually on bottles even before these guys. Uh, it was kind of hard to find pictures that weren't like really old, but. That's because it was dropped sometime around 2009, 2010. So mm -hmm. we weren't even really that much into the bourbon game yet. No. Uh, so we don't have bottles that have the age statements no. on them. Yeah. Now, also what has dropped is the old. Now this is, I find this kind of funny, Sarah. Weller Special Reserve and Old Weller Antique were both seven years old at, mm -hmm. at one time. So what makes this one old and antique and, and this one special? That is interesting. I mean, I know the difference between them obviously is the proof, proof. but why call this one Old Weller Antique and not this one, I guess the Special Reserve is, they may be Old Weller Special Reserve too long. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, so we saw those go away. Now we have these bottles here, non-age dated, but rumored to be around six, six That's years old. That's what I've always heard. Now, mm -hmm. according to Buffalo Trace's website, there is no mention of- Any age statement. Yeah, we put around this age in there. Yeah. So that's just all up for hearsay. Now, but there are Weller, you know, age dated products out there. If, you're in the if mood, you yeah. can find them, uh, let's see, we've got the CYPB. They have the, years. the 12 year. 12 year. Millennium. Around 24 years. 24. Uh, the Daniel Weller. Uh, almost 12, 12 years. years. Then you've got obviously your single barrels, which are gonna vary, vary. by release. And then WLW. WLW William Lear Weller, which is gonna vary year to year based on what they put out. Mm -hmm. So there are opportunities. Yeah, so if you're looking this. for H stated oh. Wellers, there's plenty. We just listed plenty. Go Don't get them. Go your get breath. them. Yeah, good Go luck. get them. How many of those do we have, Chad, that we came across out in the wild? Uh, well, I can list the ones we don't have. Millennium, Daniel, Weller. Mm -hmm. um, we do have CYPB. We do, do we have, have 12? single year. Yeah, we got 12. We got 12 from back when were, they looked like this. Yeah, Weller 12, 90 proof, Weller 12. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with Sarah me? Sarah had a moment. I just had a moment. Did I just have a stroke? No, I'm not sure. You, you saw it here first. Yeah. Uh, not a joke, nothing to joke about. My health is fine. Um, wow, I just completely blanked that that was a product <laughs> for a second. Should we move on to number four? I think let's move on to number four. Okay. Next up, we have Very Old Barton Bottled and Bond Six Year. Now, if we rewind back to 2016, that was the title of it. But in 2016, it lost its age statement. It lost that six year. But they weren't done with it there, Sarah. They were not done with it. <laughs> in 2018, it lost its bottled and bond status. It was taking some damage. Yeah. Uh, so that's interesting. It, it what was it, around 2011, it got the handcrafted treatment on the 80 proof. On the, on the 80 proof. Now, you know, research could be a little spotty. So that's sort of what we found. But mm. yeah, uh, around 2010, 2011, somewhere around there, I feel like the 80 proof got the handcrafted crafted, which is what they put instead of the um, age statement. Now this one does still have a six here, but it's but just why? a six. It's just a six. It's like that old it's just number eight from right. before. Like, mm -hmm. what does that mean? It just, they just keep a six. I think that's confusing and I don't much care for it, Chad. <laughs> also when it's very old Barton and it doesn't even have an age statement, I mean, six years back, especially back then, wasn't even that old. Wasn't very old. Uh, wasn't, wasn't very old, but uh, yeah. Besides the point, yeah. I think what's interesting is that back in 2016, when it was six year age, Dated and it was bottle to bond, you could get a bottle for 14 bucks. Yeah, so wait, wait, let, that, let that sink in. Six year old age statement, bottled and bond, so 100 proof, it meets all the other bottled and bond stuff. 
$14. Now, strip away that age statement, strip away that bottled and bond classification, it's $17. I get things rising over time, but... Yeah. Not to say that it <laughs> is a bad value now. No, $17 is still great still value 100, for a bottle. 100 proofer, no age statement, okay. But you know, it doesn't have an age statement in the fine print, so it means it's at least four years old. So at least you know that. For 17 bucks, uh, that's pretty good. For 17 good. bucks, that's, that's pretty good. But man, We want just, things the way they used to be. Let's, it just lets you know how amazing of a value it was back then. Mm -hmm. Again, that's just saying, you know, age is just a number and it's, it's not everything but you did have that. So at least you know the youngest in there was six years. Mm -hmm. Now the youngest in here is four years and the bottom bond category is gone. So RIP to that. Maybe they'll bring it back one day. Fingers crossed. Yeah. All right, well, let's move on to our last one. The Evan Williams brand. Mm. Now we're gonna talk first about the black label. Now Evan Williams, as a bourbon label in general, started in 1957. So there's there's been some times uh, in there, we've seen black being represented as eight years, mm -hmm. as seven years, as 90 proof, as 86 proof. Uh, this was probably one of my first personal bottles of Evan Williams back in the day. Yeah, same. This was one of my first personal bottles of bourbon back in the day. Well, I mean this actual bottle. Oh, this actual this bottle. actual wow. bottle. This is a piece of Chad Perkins history. It is. Uh, it would have to have been before 2005. That's because that's whenever they yeah, removed the seven year age statement. That's when this uh, seven year went away. Mm -hmm. And I noticed this is 90 proof. This is 90 proof. Modern so, day. Modern day here, we have a 86 proof non-age statement. Mm -hmm. um, it said that they took away that seven year age statement due to inventory pressure in the early 2000s. Yeah. That's what we've heard a lot of, you know, again, the not being able to keep up with the demand of the time. So they dropped that age statement sure. and they dropped the proof again, maybe to stretch it a little farther. That kind of created a little bit of a conundrum though, because mm -hmm. at the same time, we have this lovely Evan Williams 1783 that is, was at the time non-age stated, uh, also at 86 proof. Yeah. What's interesting about that is that it was previously age stated at 10 years. 10 years old. By the time we got this bottle, that had been removed. But if you look here on the neck tag, you can see it says number 10 brand, which is again, back to that a throwback. old number number eight, old number, whatever. 10, that six, 10 year age statement. That six hanging out on that uh, very old Barton. Mm -hmm. I don't love it. <laughs> it, um, it is, it is. Uh, it's uh, misleading. Sort of standard practice though, I feel mm -hmm. like for the for the big um, whiskey brands. But yeah, so back when it was, probably even before this bottle shape, uh, it was a 10 year age statement. Now, when that went away, you had a non-age stated 86 proofer and a non-age stated 86 proofer. So what's the difference, Chad? Well. Small batch, Sarah. This one says small batch. And what does small batch mean? Whatever you want it to be. Does small batch there's, five barrels, 10 barrels, <laughs> two barrels, 1,000 barrels? No one can say. Yeah, and there's not like there's a, a large batch uh, definition either. No. But they say 1783 is around 200 barrels. This one's probably in the thousands. Who knows? But it took until 2021 for them to actually make a differentiation of 1783 small batch with a bottle redesign and a proof up. To 90 proof, so at least now. Kind of brings there it is, back. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, 90 proof, but not even age stated. Hmm. There are no seven or eight year age statement. I mean, there. they're rumored to be around six to eight years, but we cannot confirm nor deny. Again, that's, that's a rumor hearsay. Not, yeah, not from the official site, so right. that's just kind of like, ah, they're, you know, mm -hmm. they're around this. Um, they do have, though, Evan Williams line has the 12 year age statement with the red label, and they have a 23 year, which is elusive, and we've seen it once, and I talked Chad out of buying it, and he'll never forgive me. It's true. Um, um, still kind of salty do? about it. Always. The 12 year is uh, an overseas bottle, or you can buy it at the distillery mm -hmm. gift shop itself. Besides that, it pretty much shouldn't be offered anywhere. Yeah. 23, also good luck. Good Who luck. Knows? Who knows about that? I don't even know if they're making that anymore, Best honestly. Best wishes, warmest yeah. regards. <laughs> yeah. But that uh, will wrap up these five. There are more out there. We picked five because we didn't want to go on uh, for an hour. Are these the five most important? Nah. What do you think? What is the most, which one did we miss that you think is the most important removal or addition? of an age statement. True, yes. And what in general, how do you feel about age statements? Are you more likely to buy a bottle that has an age statement? Uh, are you less likely to buy one that used to have one that is now just non-age stated? Let us know down in the comments below. That's where you better leave it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon.